All right, good to have you. It is time for school, and we're talking about with the High Plains Technology Center School. Maybe not necessarily the school you're in line for this morning, but we're starting a new segment today. Welcome to day one. It's time for school with High Plains <laughs> Technology Center. I got a couple of guests in here. Why don't you just uh, explain yourselves or <laughs> introduce yourselves? Yeah, introduce, explain. Yeah, I can yeah. Believe and it. then you can in, in, the expo- explain explanation yourself. Explanation may take a little longer. Right. Uh, Barkley Holt, I'm the superintendent at High Plains Technology Center. Uh, just recently took over that position back in July and glad to be here. Good morning. My name is Katie Shirley, and I'm the marketing coordinator at High Plains, and I've been there eight years um, in July. So this morning, I have Mr. Holt here, and I'm going to ask him a couple questions And as he moves into his new role as superintendent. So, Mr. Holt, could you please tell us a little bit about your background and your journey to where you are now as we sit here? Well, first and foremost, excited to be here and, and, to, and to get this thing started with uh, 100.1 and getting getting this deal going. We, we're trying to um, kind of branch out there and, and make sure that everybody knows the good stuff that happens in High Plains, but back to where my role's at and, and how I got here, a, a small-town kid from western Oklahoma. I uh, grew up in southwest Oklahoma, to be exact, and then uh, for the last 10 years, I've been at High Plains as assistant superintendent, taught ag uh, at Freedom and uh, a little town called Chattanooga in southwest Oklahoma, and then uh, ended up in Freedom and then went to Northwest Tech in Alva, was the ag business coordinator there before Dwight uh, grabbed me, talked me into it, whatever, and brought me to High Plains, and so I've been here for 10 years, and then fortunate enough to get to be the superintendent now, at the, supposedly in charge. Uh, yes. Well, we're um, glad to have you in the role, and it's um, been great so far. So could you give everyone a brief 30,000-foot overview of what HPTC, High Plains Tech Center, um, provides and offers and to who? Well, I think, the, I think if you sum that up from – as you say, the 30,000 foot view that High Plains uh, is based around basically uh, we have a full-time programs, which most everybody's pretty familiar with that are pretty basic. Uh, we, we, we're pretty traditional in that. We've got construction, diesel, auto, health, uh, various health career opportunities. And then you've got marketing, multimedia, some more newer, more diverse type programs. And then we have a service careers program that that, func- that, that f- focuses on kids that um, need some basic skills and things like that. So we have those uh, the, the full-time programs. Then you turn around and we recently, people are probably familiar somewhat with the TAP program and the middle school program. That's a, uh, it, it is exactly what it says. It focuses on its technical applications program, focuses on basic technical applications that those kids can take as a skill. We focus those on our programs, and it's it's available to oh six through uh, ninth graders that then hopefully leap leap them forward into a high plains full time program. So it's a it's been an innovative deal that that is unique to us. It's something we kind of dreamed up and saw the need in our sending schools. All uh, we know these kids need basic skills, and and then even getting them into our full time programs, they needed that, and that was a good thing. Uh, then we have our biz programs which uh, we refer to them as our customized business and industry training that we do for either the, uh, most of the listeners out there are probably familiar with uh, oil and gas training, safety training in, in various industries, uh, and then also with our uh, wind uh, safety that we, that we work with all the time, which has really become a big deal the last 10 years. And then we have our AT&D programs, which that's adult training and development programs that are, that are short-term type programs, evening uh, you might have been involved in a uh, nursing program, the um, CNA programs, or some something short term like that, or in an evening class you might have taken a computer class or something like that out there, and we still offer those. COVID kind of messed that up for the last year, but we're getting back ramped up and getting those going. So that's that's that is high planes in a nutshell as far as what we do from a thirty thousand foot. So. A lot of people think of High Plains as a place for kids, and it's beautiful that you actually start like middle school, 
but it could be a multi-generational thing you could have a kid and their parent and their grandparent all out there taking different courses at the same time yeah the longer you're in this business the more kids grandparents uh, great grandparents you start seeing come back through and you're like uh you start seeing those great grandkids come through and you're like oh my goodness but yes exactly it's and i think that's what we are trying to develop that's so that's something that we're really focusing on is is a lifelong relationship with the people that that we serve i mean we we serve seven school districts we serve uh, it's a part, parts in all of four counties, and, and that's something we take real serious. And I think any time you develop a relationship, what is it they always say? That people do business with people, not with another business. And I think that's what we really have tried to focus on. Katie does a wonderful job with that, our marketing crew. But that is that is the nuts and bolts of it. And and from a, going back to the 30,000-foot view, basically you leave there equipped to be a good employee. A career, a career. I think right. that's when you talk about differences in us versus uh, other avenues of education that you can go into post-secondary wise or otherwise is we are we are where it happens. A uh, career in technical technical education in America, uh, Oklahoma is known as the leader across the United States. We are the number one career and technical program in the United States. Nobody puts the dollars nobody puts the effort behind it that it, the other states just don't so when you live in oklahoma you've got that opportunity and i think the now, re- you're not talking about statewide you're talking about high plains technology center right here in woodward yes we're talking about that's, high that's plains, amazing talking about high plains technology center in woodward as a part of the career tech system in oklahoma the oklahoma system is known as the number one system in the nation now when you talk about high plains here in woodward oklahoma we were the number one GWO, which is our Global Wind Organization, which we're a member of. Uh, we were the number one trainer in the Americas last year. So, well, yes, congratulations. When, you, when you talk about uh, where where we set, that's Woodward, Oklahoma is known. Yep. <clears throat> and also, um, follow up on your AT&D, I would just plug this month, we have eight different classes beginning. So you can go online to hptc.edu, and we have um, a list of all those coming up this um, month in September. Okay, so why, um, Mr. Holt, do you love the career tech system as a whole? Well, I think I think we just talked about that a little bit, but I mean, I say all the time, um, we're not the set down set in your seat, write down what you're learning type of uh, education that goes on. Mm -hmm. We're the come in, get your hands on it, do it, hear about the theory, understand why the theory backs up what you're doing, do it the correct way. I think that's sometimes we get a little bit lost in that. We're, uh, our, I'll, I'll use our, I'll pick on our mechanics and our welders. They want to weld, they want to twist wrenches. They don't want to necessarily mm-hmm. know why that has to, why you only uh, twist it to a certain, uh, certain torque or whatever. But that is, that is things that we have to uh, intermittently put in there. But we, that's, that's who we are. We're the doers. And, and, and I think what's really cool about that is, most kids, when you start talking about career, this has been what's happened in the TAP program. When you start talking about career, uh, most of our kids are really out there looking for what they're going to do. And I think a, a statistic that's pretty cool is is that basically 64% of our high school graduates are going to go to college. 34% of those are going to graduate within four years. That means that basically 21% of your high school graduates are is what – will graduate from high school or graduate from college in four years. So that means that we've got about 80% of our population out there that, hey, they're going to be working. They're going to be using their hands. They're going to be working towards something. And I think that's the cool part of what we do. Right. We put people to work. Yeah. Um. So one last question for you would be, um, what are your goals for HPTC? Well, I mean, uh, that, that's pretty lofty. My my goal is, like I told the board when they when we interviewed for this back in the spring, I said my goal is to keep the culture alive that's there, to build on it, uh, to expand. I mean, I, I guess an overlying goal, or probably that one out there on the sunset, or one that you know within my tenure I'd like to reach is I'd like to be the go to two year uh, institution in this part of the state. We really don't have a two year institution out here, mm-hmm. and I would like us to be that. And that's that's pretty lofty. Uh, that's some big changes in our uh, n- future, but I think that's something that we can do that's 
that's really big for our part of the world. So, Well, Barkley, Katie, thank you guys for uh, being here this morning, and we'll do this again every week. That's and right. So we're looking forward Appreciate to it. it. We'll learn different aspects of it. But right now, I guess we got to let you guys go back out to High Plains Tech Center and let the other kids get to school, right? Yep. That's right. Have a good day at school. Enjoy your day.